In this video, I'm going to show you how to read a ruler to measure objects to the nearest sixteenth of an inch. I have a typical ruler here, and on this ruler I have one side of the ruler in customary units counting by inches, and then I have the other side of the, the ruler in metric units counting by centimeters. And if I zoom in on the ruler, we can take a closer look at it. You can see that on the inches side, we have all these little markings right here. And all of these markings are just fractions of an inch. There's no name for them other than whatever fraction of an inch that they represent. If I take this ruler and I flip it around now and I look at the metric side, these the markings on this side do have a name, and they are actually millimeters. They, they do represent one-tenth of a centimeter, but that's, that's the definition of a millimeter. A millimeter is one-tenth of a centimeter. So this side is going to be a little bit easier to read because we can just say one, oh, this is one-tenth, two-tenths, three-tenths, four-tenths, or one, two, three, four millimeters. It has some slightly bigger markings, but these just represent half of a centimeter or five millimeters. So what I'm going to focus on is the looking at the inches side, the customary side, because that's the side that's a little bit trickier to learn to read. So let's flip this back around and zoom back in on it. Now the easiest way to learn how to read a ruler is to think of it as a number line. And your number line will start at zero, right over here at the edge of the ruler. And each full inch is will represent a whole number on the number line. And then all of these fractional parts right here, all of these little markings are representing fractions on the number line. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more, and we're going to focus on the ruler just between 0 and 1 so we can figure out what all of these markings actually stand for. Let me clearly define the edge of the ruler right here. So let's say that this is where... The ruler starts, this is my zero point, and this is my one inch line right here. So I'm looking at a number line just between zero and one. And if I split that hole in half, I'm right on this marking right here. So this marking represents one half of an inch. If I now split the half of an inch in half, I get this line right here. And a half of a half is equal to one-fourth. So if this is one-fourth, this blue line right here is also another fourth. In this case, it's actually two-fourths of an inch. And then this line right here is another fourth, and it is three-fourths of an inch. So if we are counting by our fourths, we have one-fourth of an inch, two-fourths, three-fourths, and then four-fourths, which is one whole right over here. Let's now split our fourths in half, and if I take half of my fourth, I end up with this line right here, and half of a fourth is equal to an eighth. But each one of these now is also an eighth, so this is not all, equivalent to one-fourth is two-eighths. This marking right here would be three-eighths, and half of that would be another eighth, which would mean it has also has a name of four eighths. This would be five eighths. And half of this would be another eighth, so this would be equal to six eighths. Here we have seven eighths, and then your whole is equal to eight eighths. And lastly, if we split each eighth in half, we get to half of an eighth, which is equal to one sixteenth. So now we can see that each of these smallest markings on the ruler are actually representing 1 16th. So we can now count by 16ths on our ruler and relabel every one of these with equivalent names out of 16. So this is 9 16 10 16 11, 12, 13, 16, 14, 16, 15, 16, and then the whole is equal to 16, 16, which is 1. You can see that 
part of the reason that reading a ruler is tricky is because there are, are an awful lot of equivalent fractions on the ruler. If we remove all of the equivalent fractions from the ruler, we can focus more on the markings because they are the key to being able to read the ruler. Your second longest marking is your half inch markings, aside from the whole inch markings. Uh, your third longest one are your quarter inches, then your fourth longest are the eighth inches, and your shortest markings are the sixteenths inches. So let's look at some examples of um, measuring some objects using a ruler, and I'm going to start with using the, just this uh, one inch ruler that is labeled before we jump into the actual ruler that is unlabeled. Anytime you're measuring something, you need to decide how accurate do you need to be in your measurements. Are you interested in measuring to the nearest half an inch, to the nearest uh, fourth of an inch, to the nearest eighth of an inch, and so on. So let's pretend like in, in this example that we wanted to measure to the nearest eighth of an inch. So in this one, this is less than a whole inch. So we're just going to count by eighths of an inch. Here's one eighth, two eighths, three eighths four-eighths, and it's five-eighths of an inch. And in, in this case, because the ruler is already labeled, we can see right here that it is definitely closest to five-eighths of an inch. But when you're trying to measure to the nearest eighth of an inch, you're counting by every other one of these markings because it takes one two-sixteenths to equal one-eighth. So every two-sixteenths equals one-eighth of an inch. If we wanted to measure this same green rectangle to the nearest sixteenth of an inch, all we would do is we'd be counting by the smallest little lines right here, and we'd just figure out how many of the little lines there are. In this case, there's nine plus one more is ten sixteenths of an inch. Now, realistically, most of the time when you're measuring something, uh, an object, it's not necessarily going to line up perfectly with your ruler. So in this case, with this purple rectangle, you'll see that the end of the rectangle doesn't match up perfectly with one of the lines on the ruler. So this is where you really have to decide how close do you need your, uh, your measurement to be, how accurate do you need it to be. And if we were measuring it to the nearest sixteenth of an inch, we would say it's closest to eleven sixteenths of an inch because it's closer to this line than it is to this one right here, which would be twelve sixteenths. If we were wanting it to the nearest eighth of an inch, every two markings is an eighth. So one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths. And it looks like it's closer to six eighths right here because it's closer to this line than it is to this line. And if we were wanting to measure to the nearest fourth of an inch, here's your fourth. So one fourth, two fourths is a half. And then three fourths is clearly closer to three fourths than it is to two fourths of an inch. So let's now look at some examples of using a typical unmarked ruler. The first thing to be aware of is where the zero uh, line is on your ruler. Some rulers will have the very edge of the ruler, which you can't really see on here, but this is the edge of the ruler, uh, be their zero line. Some rulers will actually have it slightly moved over and will mark the zero line on the ruler. You just need to make sure that you line up whatever the object is that you're measuring with that zero line before you start trying to read the ruler. So clearly this blue rectangle is between 3 and 4 inches, so we just need to figure out what the fraction part is. Again, that depends on how close we want to uh, measure this to, but let's say we were wanting to measure to the nearest half of an inch first. Uh, so here's your half inch line right here, and this is closer to three and a half inches than it is to four inches. So if we were measuring to the nearest half of an inch, we would say this is three and a half inches. If we were measuring to the nearest fourth of an inch, here are our fourth inch marks. Here's three and one fourth, three and two fourths, three and three fourths. And this is a little bit hard to tell without zooming in, but it appears it is closer to three and two fourths than it is to three and three fourths, but it's kind of right in between. So that's kind of a judgment call on your part. If we were needing to measure to the nearest eighth of an inch, every second one is an eighth of an inch. So one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, so three and five eighths of an inch. And then to the nearest sixteenth of an inch, we're just gonna count the, all, every single individual line, three and one sixteenth, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, and it looks like it's closest to three and ten sixteenths of an inch. In this next example, we have a yellow rectangle that's clearly between four and five inches. So it's going to be four and some fraction of an inch. Uh, 
to the nearest half of an inch. Here's four and one half, but it looks like it's closer to four and two halves, otherwise known as five holes than it is to four and one half, because it's closer to this five right here than it is to the four and a half mark. It's past half of a half. If we were measuring it to the nearest fourth of an inch, here are your fourth inch lines. So four and one fourth, four and two fourths, four and three fourths, and here's four and four fourths. It looks like it's closer to four and three fourths here because it's not quite halfway to four and four fourths or five inches. Here's your halfway mark, so it looks like it's four and three fourths. If we're measuring it to the nearest eighth of an inch, these are your eighth inches, one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, and seven eighths. So it looks like it's four and seven eighths approximately. It's closer to this one than it is to this one. And then lastly, if you're measuring the nearest sixteenth, these are your sixteenths. So we have eight sixteenths, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And it looks to me like it's probably closest to four and fourteen sixteenths because this is the fourteen sixteenths line and it's closer to this one than it is to this one. In this last example I want to show you what sometimes you will see on standardized tests. They love to put things where they're not lined up properly on the ruler. Now obviously in the real world you take your ruler and you just move it to the end of uh, your object so that the zero matches up with the, the beginning of your object. But on a standardized test, you can't pick up the ruler and move it. So you're going to have to be able to figure out what to do to, to get this actual length. Now, at first glance, it appears that this object is a little over four inches. But keep in mind that we've got a whole inch right here that the object is not actually in. So we just need to take away that one inch with when we're done. So if we're measuring this to the nearest half of an inch, it's clearly not close to four and one half. It's definitely closer to four whole inches. So uh, this would be four inches, but then we have to take away this whole inch right here. So we would say this is closest to three inches in length. And we can see this just by counting one inch, two inch, three inches, and then we don't even have another whole half. If we were measuring this to the nearest fourth of an inch, we'd glance at the ruler and we'd say this is four whole inches, and this is four and one fourth right here. This is less than halfway to that fourth because this is halfway to a fourth. So I would get, again say that this is closest to four inches, but when we subtract this hole right here, we get back down to three inches again. If we we're measuring to the nearest eighth of an inch, this would be four whole inches. And then here's your one eighth right here. So that would be four and one eighth. Subtract this whole inch right here and we're at three and one eighth. And then same thing with sixteenth of an inch. We're just going to count all these little markings. So we have four whole inches plus one sixteenth plus one more, four and two sixteenths, minus this whole inch right here, three and two sixteenths of an inch.